CA Pay. Back at you with another video. And in today's video, I am asking the question. If you could do it all over again, what would you buy? Would you buy the Riker? Would you buy the Spider? Let's go back to the beginning, guys. When I first or you first saw your saw a Riker, whether you saw it going down the street, I saw it at the dealership. I went to the dealership to buy an older Spider. I think I went to the dealership to buy like a 2010 Spider. And they had just got these Rikers. And I was like, what is that? The Spider I was going to buy was about 12,000. The Riker was a little cheaper. I said, you know what? Yeah, let me get one of those. Let me get one of those up out you. They gave it to me. Uh, I think I took it home the following day. I don't even think I took it home the same day. I didn't even know how to ride it. Um, I was approximately 60 miles from home. Man, I got on that thing and I took off and within five to 10 minutes, I was comfortable on it. I was on the expressway, no fear, good to go. Now I've seen other people I've seen at the dealership when I'm at the dealership and they're buying theirs and they're either gonna tow it or gonna have somebody come back and get it the next day to ride it for them. They're scared to even ride the thing home, but they just purchased it. That was not me. I'm a bit of a daredevil. Oh my God, remember when you used to take the hood off and it looked all clean under there, it looked like this. Now your bike looks like with all the wires going everywhere, your bike look, looks like a bunch of snakes are having a meeting. The beginning. I bought a Riker 900 Ace. Basically looked just like this. It had nothing on it. They asked you, what panels do you want for it? I told them, you know what? Let me get the black. Let me stay with all black. I don't want to get red. I don't want to get yellow. I wanted the bike to be all black. I thought that all black was beautiful. And it was for like a year and a half to two years. I didn't really touch the bike. I, at the dealership, I told them to put a windshield on it for me, put the side bag on it, um, and that was it. That's pretty much all they did for me at the dealership. Bought the bike, a Riker 900 Ace for 8,600 was how much it cost back in 2019. And I was out the door, happy. That all black looked fierce. Nobody really had one, so as I'm riding down the street, Everybody thought it was a spider. Everybody like, oh my God, nice spider, nice spider. Not even realizing they had developed something else and now they had the Riker. Get in the comment section. Do you remember that feeling when you first bought your bike? Get in the comment section. I don't care if you even make it a long post. Tell me what that felt like. What it felt like to me, it felt like I was taking a walk on the wild side, right? I'm like, never really dealt with motorcycles before. I had, had rode one before, right? Uh, a Ducati and I barely knew how to ride that didn't mess around with that very long right saw some friends get injured so years later here I go I'm jumping on a three wheel what did that feel like for you for me it felt like I was just doing something dangerous I wasn't thinking that I would really like it and get into it and start making YouTube videos or anything like that and as a matter of fact, I never planned on making YouTube videos on this bike at all. I never planned on this to turn into this. I didn't even start making YouTube videos on the bike until over two years later. If I had started in 2019, just think of where my channel would be if I had started two years prior. Man, my channel would be big as heck right now. It's already big. But if I had to do it all over again, I would have went straight to the spider i would have bought newer spiders so i would have bought a 2019 a 2018 spider hopefully a spider s this thing looks pretty good too this one right here yeah that black look good it looks like a matte black with the orange or red, like reddish bars the bars in the front are black but I like the side, they got it in orange. I would have started with a Spider all day, 100%. I would not have went to a Riker at all, but that's just me, that's just my opinion. Get in the comment section and let me know what would you have done, or would you have just not even started with a Spider at all? You would have just went 
with a slingshot and said, screw it. Let me mess with one of these slingshots. Some of you guys did start with a slingshot. Get in the comment section. Let me know if your first three-wheeler was a slingshot and what your thoughts about that were when you purchased it, if you still have it. Oh, this one, nice right here. I really, 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 really like this one. Get in the comment section and let me know. What do you think about this slingshot right here? Good, bad. I like the color on this one. This color and this, this setup has really grown on me over time. I also like the red one that's sitting over here with these rims. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. I just hate when you gotta bring these things to the dealer. My spider is at the dealer right now. I got some bad news today. The dealer told me that the part that I need for my uh, spider to be fixed is a alternator shaft and it's on back order until the middle of January, 2025. And hey, that's the worst news you can hear, right? What are you talking about? We're in August. You talking about I'm not gonna get this thing fixed to possibly January, February of next year? Ah, oh, man, that's just bad news, right guys? Nobody wants to hear that. So, luckily, I got other things to ride and focus on and so on and so forth, but it just sucks overall. You got a bike, you're gonna have problems. No different as people say, if you got a house, you got a problem. Same type situation. But get in the comment section right now. Let me know, what would you do if you had to do it all over again? Would you buy a Spider or would you buy a Riker? I have already given my chimed in and told you what I would do. I would buy a Spider and I would avoid the Riker. There's nothing wrong with the Riker. It's just in my size and what I know about the Riker and the Spider now, I would have went, this one nice too. This is a beautiful bike. I like that, the, you know, the black that's on it. I like the wheels. This bike is really purdy. I do like the T, the way it looks towards the back. That's a nice looking bike. It's just sometimes when I see it with all the storage on them, like you see it like this. Hey, the storage is really convenient, but it just makes the bike look so big and bulky or whatever. Now these seats of skies, hey, these things are beautiful and they are comfortable as heck, man. This is, this the suspension and everything on this, this setup is where it is. I like the way the contrast in the seat along with how the wheel looks. Good looking bike, but if I did not get a Spider S, this is what I would have got. I would have got this T because I like the way the side bags look and I like, it, it's not all big and bulky. It still looks good. Get in the comment section and let me know if you agree. In my opinion, this is a very good looking bike overall compared to some of the bigger ones. But what's your favorite? Is it the Riker? Is it the Spider? If, the, if you just still love the Riker, let me know. I did just talk to a girl up here. She was having some issues with her Riker and she hit a bump and they had to tow it in just now. I'm sorry, they towed it in, I guess a couple of weeks ago, but they, she came up here to talk to them about it, see what was going on. Um, so they towed it in, she hit a bump, bike cut off. They told her it's the wiring harness and they qu quoted her to fix it. They're gonna give her a deal of like $2,500 to fix the bike. I'm like, dang, it's not under warranty. It's a couple of years old, 2,500 to fix the bike because you hit a big pothole in Chicago. Good Lord. Get in the comment section, let me know, out of warranty, what's the biggest bill that you've paid on your Riker or Spider out of warranty? Get in the comment section, let me know right now. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, my friends, C8 Pate out.